the Yahan Pe YouTube channel Learning Radiology. Then start our today's topic. So today we will discuss on the topic grid. A graphical retrieval information display. So let's start to this topic. So grid is a device we use for uh, absorb or uh, use for removes or absorb scattered radiation. Grid is used in uh, radiography. A grid is um, invented by uh, Dr. Gustav Bucky in 1913, and we all know scattered rays are harm very harmful for patient and also decrease the image quality. A one term in grid called grid cutoff. Grid cutoff is mainly as called as a loss of a primary radiation. When primary radiation loss occur, this phenomenon known as grid cutoff, and grid is used for remove a scatter radiation or absorb scatter radiation a grid is in case of a we now we see grid principle grid principle is a basically work on a when we see grid grid is a mainly made up of a large number of lead strips they are separated from each other by some interspace materials which is penetrated by x-ray a grid is used between the patient and a film grid is also in market also graded cassette are available and grid is also placed under the patient couch grid have a ability to pass the primary beam through a translucent translucent space in a grid while in case of scattered radiation which deviate the direction from primary radiation it's tend to strike the lead element and it absorb before it reach the film now we see stationary grid in 1930 dr gustav bucky introduced a stationary grid uh, in case of modern grids they are 0.05 mm width they are separated by lead strips and grid lead strips are com grid is composed of lead strips and lead strips are uh, distance by distance distance of lead strips are maintained by some interspace materials in interspace material we use aluminium or a plastic material which have 0.3 mm wide grid cutoff grid cutoff is a loss of primary radiation or uh, which not reach, uh, reaching the film due to improper positioning when we not do proper positioning of a patient then primary radiation not reach properly to the film uh, they are, uh, this is a block diagram like uh, this is a x-ray tube and this is a primary radiation these are the lead strips and uh, in between the two lead strips space material are present this is a basically grid and uh, below grid this is a film this is a patient and this dot dot lines are scattered radiation and this is a primary radiation which emit from the x-ray tube uh, what is grid structure? Grid structure is a mainly com uh, grid, grid is mainly composed of high X-ray transmitting materials and high X-ray absorbing materials. They are aligned alternatively and regularly. Transmitting materials examples like aluminium strips, organic compounds and absorbing materials like lead strips. Uh, the ratio of height of the lead strip and the distance between two lead strips called a grid ratio grid a formula for grid ratio is r is equal to h upon d r h denotes for height of the lead strips and d denotes for the distance between two lead strips a grid and a grid ratio is 4 into 1 to 16 into 16 ratio 1 a grid frequency grid frequency is the number of lead strip per centimeter it's called grid frequency. There are five types of grid like linear grid, focus grid, moving grid, parallel grid, and a cross grid. A linear grid in a linear grid lines are parallel in linear linear fashion. Lines are called as a lead strips. 
they are lead strips the, this line shows lead strips lead strips are parallelly arranged to each other and they allow to the angle x angle of the x-ray tube along the length of the grid without loss of the primary radiation from grid cutoff second one is cross grid cross grid are uh, lead strips are superimposed from each other they are lead lead strips are present in a vertical section and a horizontal section means they are superimposed or we also call it as they are superimposed on a linear grid a grid ratio is equal to the sum of the ratio of the two linear grid and it cross grid cannot be used with the oblique technique focus grid yes of focus grid it uh, focus grid is mainly all grid are mainly made up of lead strip focal grid, focus grids are mainly angulated slightly main jo means lead strips which um, makes the grid they are angulated slightly so that the focus in space either linear or a crossed in the case of linear focus grid are converged at a line means convergent line focus and cross focus grid convergence at a point called a convergent point parallel grid in case of parallel grid lead strips are parallel when viewed in a cross section parallel are grid are used for fluoroscopic spot film device a line per is equal to number of a lead strip per inch of a grid called as a, called as a line per inch a moving grid moving grid are mainly used to move the move to blur out the shadow cast by the lead strips the mainly advantage are to eliminate grid lines from the film and they are very costly subject to failure at and it may vibrate the x-ray table and increase the patient radiation dose uh, there are types of the grid and one technique called is air gap technique air gap technique is a mainly called as a mainly called like a when we use uh, when we place the film a distance from an object and scatter radiation misses the film means this is a prime like this is the x-ray tube and the primary radiation we emit from the x-ray tube and this is a receptor also called a detector and this is a scattered and this is a patient and this is the distance between this called a air gap technique yeah thank you like the like the video subscribe the channel okay we meet in next video okay thank you